Here is the wooden box for the controller. I got it all done after a couple weeks working on it. Um, I'm still pretty new to doing this kind of woodworking and um, it took me forever to make this but I could make one a lot faster now that I've, I've made one <laughs> I think. <laughs> um, but it's just a, a walnut, walnut panels here and then it's got um, red heart uh, caps on the ends and I just used a, a router to create this this edge here. I used a flush trim bit to put make the cap um, perfectly even with the ends here and then the, another bit, a, a chamfering bit to put this um, this bevel on the ends and it, and it turned out pretty nice. I'm pretty happy with it. The, um, the recess here for the USB plug to recharge the battery, I just did that with a chisel by hand and uh, I just cut, every, cut all the pieces with a table saw and gave it a good, uh, good sanding and put some shellac on it and uh, some wax and uh, that's that's the box so i've got the um the led in the front here and i've got it uh, i've got it uh, programmed to show the battery voltage uh, an indication of the battery voltage it goes from green to red green being fully charged and red being it's about to die and it, it passes through yellow you know, it goes from green and slowly transitions into yellow and then slowly transitions into red. So it uh, looks pretty cool. And I'll demo that in a second. Um, and I've got the light sensor here and the, um, and what I did with the light sensor was if you, if it, if it's um, darker in the room, it will adjust the contrast and the brightness of the, the uh, battery indicator real smoothly. It actually, um, you know, I'm, I'm smoothly adjusting both of them instead of just hard coding a high and a, a high brightness and a low brightness setting. It just is smoothly doing it. So, um, it works pretty well. So I, I really like the, uh, this, this feature of it. So, um, so I've got the, the normal display like I've had before of controlling the, the water pump and it works just like it did before. And then I've got uh, the readout of the battery voltage and then the ability to set the ID number of uh, this guy here, the network ID number that the software, that the software, the library for this uh, network card uses. And so this, this device here has got a way of setting the ID number with the button and I can set the ID number of the controller with this knob. So I think it's pretty, you know, it's good enough for kind of the first version of the software. I don't have the ability to to edit the the text or add more endpoints to the controller in the software yet. That's still my stretch goal for this, but um, but this is good enough. This will this will get my buddy Ed going, I think. So um, so yeah, the uh, I'll show the inside. I've got it uh, magnets on the bottom to hold it in place. There's a magnet there, and there's a magnet right there, and there's. There's everything mounted in there. There, there's a uh, a screw in the back left corner there, and there's a screw right there, and those hold the PCB to the the front face. And there's some wood um, that I glued to the front face to make it thicker. And the uh, display is sitting in a recess that I used a router to route out, and I made a really thin uh, recess so that I could put the display right up near the, the front edge of the box and there's only a couple millimeters of uh, thickness there but the display is rigid and I just used hot glue to put the display in and so it's strength you know strengthened it up it was still you know plenty strong but with the um, with the thin wood having that display being glued in there kind of strengthens it up so uh, this is the, the white thing is just the end of the antenna uh, hanging out there but yeah everything fit just fine um, that little that little screw in the back corner I had to um, use a screwdriver and hold it a, a flathead screwdriver and hold it a bit of an angle and do quarter turns to get it to to go all the way in because of the the angle that I put on the back of it but um, but it, it goes in fine so uh, so yeah it was uh, it was pretty fun building the box, and I think I could build uh, 
uh, another one a lot faster now that I've done one. And it, it turned out a lot better than I was thinking it might. So I uh, hope my buddy, hope my buddy really likes it. Here's how the LED changes color as the voltage is dropping. It starts out as green and then as the voltage drops, just kind of wiggle that so it doesn't fall asleep. Um, as the voltage is going down, it gets more and more red. And um, once it gets down to, I think I've got it set to be 3.3 volts. That's as low as it can go and still uh, run everything in here. It will, uh, when it wakes up, it will show a low battery warning. So it says battery low, recharge soon. And then it lets you use it. And then if you take it a little bit lower voltage, let me see if I can drop it down to uh, three here about three dot two volts here so now it's pretty red um, so let me wait for this to fall asleep once it gets down to um, I've got two different thresholds one of them where is where it shows the low battery warning for a few seconds and then there's this other threshold where you can't actually use it so I've got uh, about three point two volt style then and when it wakes up now it just says recharge the battery you know this is pretty much completely red now and you can't use the device so that's uh, that's how I took care of that and then also I wanted to uh, thank um, uh, Matthew Pristine he mentioned in my last video that I could save this uh, lithium polymer battery if I hooked up uh, just a constant current to it, a low power constant current to it, um, and I tried that out, and it did it did bring this back to life. So thanks, Matthew. That uh, that saved me uh, saved me having to buy another battery. <laughs> and uh, he also mentioned um, seeing if there was a, a cheaper way to protect these batteries uh, by getting a, a linear or a, uh, getting a voltage regulator that has a low dropout voltage protection in it. And I looked to see what microchip uh, had, because I know some of their parts. And there's this one that they've got here that I've got on a little breakout board so I can play around with it. It's called the MCP1824. And it has a, uh, there's a, there's a picture up here. Um, it has a under voltage lockout um, feature of the device and it mentions down um, in this section that once the voltage gets below 2 volts typically it will power down the, the uh, voltage regulator so that's still a lot lower than the 3 volts that you're supposed to cut these off at but um, I don't know I'll, I'll, I'll try it out you know it was um, just a few bucks to order order these so I'm going to give it a shot and see, you know, just for future projects, if maybe this could be something that, that would work. And I'm not really happy with the power draw that the Arduino Pro Mini uh, board that I've got in here has got. It, that The voltage regulator that it has on it, on the uh, on that Pro Mini that's, that's inside of here, it, it draws a lot of power. And... Um, it's you know it's it this is this is when it's asleep consuming about 90 uh micro amps and it could be a lot less so um i'm going to see if maybe you know something like this will be will be less less of a power draw so anyway um yeah that's the the light uh color changing feature of uh of the software right now Oh, and you know, I should mention too the, you know, I'm going to have to make another video on measuring the battery voltage because it, it became complicated. <laughs>